What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Tech Raj, and week four team of the week is out. I was very interested to see who they picked because a lot of people really went off and were dominant. So obviously the week four hero is gonna be Muhammad Wilkerson, but before we get into that, let me show you the two sets that we have available to get. So first you start off with these week four upgrade players. First you have Chris Baker of the Washington Redskins, my Washington Redskins defensive tackle. He has 74 speed, 93 strength, 88 power move, 84 block shed, 80 pursuit, and 79 play rec. Now you had three solo tackles, two tackles for a loss, two quarterback hits, and two sacks. Uh, the Redskins defense very over uh, underrated, I should say this year. I really thought it was gonna be one of the Achilles heel. Now you can still pass on them, but that front seven is pretty good. Then we got Leonard Hankerson, an old Redskin, wide receiver for the United Falcons, 92 speed, 88 catch, 92 jump, 90 catch in traffic, 83 spec catch. He had six catches on eight targets for 103 yards and one touchdown. Now here's a really good fantasy play for you guys. He's clearly the number two wide receiver in a very good Atlanta Falcons offense, so pick him up if you haven't. Then we got strong safety Landon Collins of the New York Giants, 91 speed, which is high as hell. Thank you. See right here, somebody scooped him up while I was doing that. But he does have a lot of speed for a strong safety. His height is six foot, which is decent, 92 acceleration, 72 zone coverage, but 92 hit power. This is a pretty good budget beast right here. He had four run tackles, seven tackles overall, two pass breakups. He only allowed three catches for 19 yards. Really good for the Giants, a Giants team that really shut down a very hot Buffalo Bills team. So I was very impressed with that. And then we have Andy Dalton. Only 82 overall, which is pretty mind-boggling to me. Look at his stats. 79 speed, 90 throw power, 92 throw accuracy short, 84 in throw accuracy mid, 82 on the throw accuracy deep. And he has 80 throw on the run, only 71 off of play action passes. 17 completions on 24 attempts, 321 yards passing, one touchdown, but he let all week four quarterbacks with 127.1 quarterback rating. Of course, no Brady this week, but I think he has like one pick and nine touchdowns through four games, which is a pretty big deal. So that set will get you one of these players. We have Nick Perry, right outside linebacker for the Green Bay Packers. He's 84 overall, 88 speed, 95 acceleration is really fast, 91 hit power, 80 play rec, and 86 tackle, if I didn't mention that already. He had two run tackles, two tackles for a loss, uh, two quarterback hits, and two sacks. A lot of those stats there actually coincided with the two sacks, so I thought that was pretty funny right there, but not a bad ride out to linebacker. Uh, CJ Spiller. For the New Orleans Saints fans, I'm really excited to see this. 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 96 agility, 95 juke move, 91 elusiveness, 86 ball carry vision. It's a pretty good back. 109 total yards, including 80 yard game winning touchdown overtime to beat the Cowboys, which I'm a fan in my book because of that. But look at the kick return stats. Kick return stats, he's gonna be an 88 overall. So this is a really nice kick returner to add to the team, let alone an awesome third down running back with some great speed. Then we have Dequil Jackson, 85 overall middle linebacker, 78 speed, 93 tackle, 91 awareness, 92 play rec, 90 pursuit, and 87 hit power. He led all defenders with 17 total tackles and 11 solo tackles. He also added two tackles for a loss. Pretty beast middle linebacker right here, if I don't say so myself. Only 66 catch though. So I don't know how good he is gonna be if you're lurking with him. You're not gonna get a lot of picks, but you'll definitely break up a lot of plays. Then you have another kick return threat here in Tavon Austin, 86 overall wide receiver for the Rams, 96 speed, 95 elusiveness, 91 spec catch, 88 jumping, which is great because he's only 5'8". Six catches on seven targets, 96 yards, and two touchdowns versus a very talented Arizona secondary, which is absolutely true but it also furthers the whole point that I've been making all year. Patrick Peterson is the most overrated player in the NFL, period. I'm sorry, he doesn't stop anybody. Anyway, Tavon Aston has 90 kick return, uh, which I really, really like. And if you collect all those players, it's gonna give you this player right here. 91 overall left end, Mohamed Wilkerson. He has 86 acceleration, 77 speed, 95 tackle, 97 block shed, 96 power move, 85 play rec, only I think it's 65 finesse move. He had three solo tackles, three quarterback hits, two tackles for a loss, two sacks, and one forced fumble. Now, I've needed a left end. I just need more speed. 
I mean, this guy can pretty much do everything else. He's gonna get me a lot of coverage sacks. I think he'd really, really dominate. He'd do a really good run-stopping defensive end. But I don't know. I mean, how, how does this guy compare to J.J. Watt? I wish I had him on the squad so I could make that comparison. Um, but we'll see. Then for a limited time, we have Martellus Bennett, 90 overall tight end, 83 speed, 97 or 77 run block, 91 catch, 88 catch in traffic, 93 spec catch, 83 release, and 78 route running. He had 11 catches on 12 targets, 83 yards and a touchdown. He also caught the key first down on fourth and five in the final drive. Now this is definitely a receiving tight end. He's okay on the blocking front with 77 run block, but his jump is 83, that's nuts, has a great stiff arm. It's a pretty big tight end, and, and, and going for 91,000 coins is not bad whatsoever. So let me know, guys, in the comment section below, which one of these players do you want to see on the squad? Let's compare him to who I have right now at Greg Olson, who I feel like drops a lot of balls in traffic. Uh, he hasn't beat on the run blocking and the catch. Only release and route running are the ones that he is not beating him on. So clearly, obviously, better in overall. Um, and you can see some of my other tight ends there to the right. But once again, the comment section below, let me know who we should be adding. I've already gotten some great, great comments from you guys. But anyway, give me a like on this episode. It always helps. Subscribe if you're new. But most importantly, take care of yourself. Peace. That's why I had confidence downgrading to Earl Thomas and getting the coins because Earl Thomas is still a pretty good player. And speaking of very good players, right here on Adrian Peterson's first carry, he breaks the tackle and he's off to the races. I almost get caught right there but I get the long touchdown with Adrian Peterson. So given his struggles in the first run, Chris Johnson with the juke move, turns on the Jets and quickly shows my opponent what's gonna be happening all day long if he doesn't step his game up. 